Okay, in this game, what we're going to do now is we've all drawn a start screen and I wanna add that start screen to my game as a way to A, advertise uh, what my game is all about, possibly give instructions, and also for a little bit of bookkeeping, we can use the start screen as a great way to organize events that are gonna happen. For example, how many lives we wanna have in a game, um, and that sort of thing. So the first thing is, we just finished drawing a start screen. So I'm gonna go to sprites, and uh, I'm, or uh, yeah, sorry, actually I'm gonna go to backgrounds, and I'm gonna create a background, and I'm gonna call this uh, back um, uh, start screen. And I'm gonna load the start screen from my resources. So I saved it in um, my maze game resources and I called it start screen. And I made it the purposely the exact same size as the room, which is a width of 640 and a height of 480. So here's my maze game start screen. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add a room and I'll create a room and what I'm going to do with this room is I'm gonna say background. I'm gonna use the start screen for my background. Okay, next thing I need to do, if I press play, you're not gonna see the start screen start. Why? Because when it plays, it had already started with room zero, which is the first room in my maze game. This room here with the rocks. Um, I want it to start with the start screen. So the start screen is room two. So what I'm going to do is I'm gonna rename it so I remember that this is the start screen and I'll just call it start or maybe I'll call it uh, room start. Maybe that sounds even better. And it is the third room in the series. So I'm gonna drag it from the third one and put it in front of room zero. So it's gonna start with room start and then go room zero and room one. And now when I press play, it's gonna start with a start screen. The only problem is I have no objects that tell it to go on uh, and do other things. So I'm gonna do that next. Here's my start screen, but I can't go to the start the game. So let me show you some of the objects I'm gonna make uh, so it's gonna start the game. So I've added the, the picture of the start screen, but I want some objects here. So first object I'm gonna create, it's gonna be called the game controller. And the game controller, I'll call it object game controller. Um, I don't need a sprite for it, but when it's created, I wanna do a few things. Some of the things I might wanna do is I might wanna set the score to zero points. I might wanna set the lives to three lives. And I might wanna set the health, if I had health, to 100% health. Um, those are some things that I could do in the game controller. Um, I could have uh, an event called draw and I'll use the draw event to draw the score um, and to draw the lives um, in a certain location. I haven't done that yet, but uh, that's where I would do that. Okay, now I've got the game controller. What I do, because it has no sprite, um, in the start room, I go and I say add the game controller and I usually put the, them in the top left corner so I remember where they are because they have no sprite. So they appear as a question mark in a purple circle. And that just means that you've got that object but it has no sprite. Um, so that's fine. Uh, I'm gonna put the game controller there um, and later on I'll add lives and health and, and we'll just get it to display in the next lesson. The next thing I, is I want an object that's gonna allow me to go to the next room. So I'm gonna create another object in the start screen um, that I'm gonna call create object and I'm gonna call it object start. And all object start is going to do is to display a message um, and I'm gonna use the person as a sprite for it. And in the create event, um, I'm gonna get it to move. So the person's gonna move at a speed of uh, four, just like the person does. Um, and I'll get the person to move down the screen. 
And I might uh, start by jumping to a position of y uh, minus um, 40. So we'll be off the screen in the beginning. And what this person is going to do is uh, I'll get it to start with a sprite of going down, which is uh, uh, speed of zero, sub image zero. So the image zero is down. And so the person is going to move down. And in the draw event of the person, I'm going to draw some text. And the text is going to, so I use the draw thing here. And I uh, say draw some, oops, not set font. Um, I want to draw uh, text. Ah, that's the A tool. Draw text relative to this person. And I want the text to say press um, any key uh, to start. And I might have this text uh, Y negative 32. So it'll be on top of the player. The text is going to, so it's going to keep drawing the text above relative to where the player is above where the player is. Um, and the player I told to start above the screen, um, but start moving down the screen and use the sprite down. Uh, finally, I'm going to add event, which is keyboard, any key. So if any key is pressed, um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, go to uh, the next room um, to start the game. So if you press any key. And then finally, I just place this object called uh, object start. I'll place it uh, in the middle of the screen right about here, and it's going to jump above and start coming down the screen and say, press any key to start. So let's just try it out and see what it looks like. So I press play, and now my start screen is going to start with this object called object start, and it's going to display a text message just above them that says, press any key to start. Um, why did it draw over there? Uh, let me just double check here. Objects. Start, uh, jump to, oh, I jumped to a position, um, I want to say relative to where I am, minus 40. Sorry. Uh, I was at position uh, 0, negative 40. So I want to be at a jump to position, uh, negative 40. And so um, the person is going to come down and, and say, press any key to start. And if I press any key, um, it will uh, 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 start. Okay, so that's how you make a start screen. Um, we're gonna have lives and other objects as well. Um, and what I could do is we could have the person come and actually carry the banner. Uh, I could do that as well. Um, and that might be something a little bit more fun and make him sort of move around the room uh, in a random path. Uh, and different things I could do and feel free to play with that. But that's just a simple way to add a start screen um, to your game.